Hey y'all, so I am about to film my very first palette declutter. I have both eyeshadows and face palettes in here. I really like all of the stuff I have in here, but I also know that some of this stuff is pretty old, so it is time that I move it along. So the first thing I have are these e.l.f. Uh, white size quads, the cream and sugar, mint melt, and rose water. I tend to use those all together as uh, like one palette. So I'll go ahead and keep all of those for now. They're still on the newer side. I also have this Aether Beauty quad, um, this uh, citrine crystal quad. This is fairly new, so I will go ahead and keep that. I have a couple of Natasha Denona's in here. Some of the minis, um, the mini love, mini sunset, mini, I think this is retro, and then this like little mini Biba. I will keep all of those. I use all of those palettes. I also have another Natasha Denona. This one I believe is called the Coral Palette. Yes, I will keep that one. And then I have this Tarte Palette power bar. Um, I'm on the fence about this one. It's, it's okay. Um, I could take it or leave it. So, but I don't think it is too, too old. So I will hold on to it for right now. I have this Violet Voss HG fun size palette. I really like this one. I'm having a hard time opening it strangely. There we go. Really like this one. I think the colors are super pretty. I do not even remember when I got this. I think this was an Ipsy box or something like that. So if that says anything, I think I need to go ahead and get rid of this one. I also have two of the Naked um, Petite palettes, the Mini Decay, um, the Mini 3. I really like that one, I'll keep it. This Naked Petite Heat one, I really like this one a lot as well but um, this one is also very old and I think I should just go ahead and get rid of it, unfortunately. Speaking of old, um, I have the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop, the Zodiac palette. I actually combined uh, her other palette that was, I can't think of the name of it right now, but her other palette. I went and combined the shades out of that that I like and so I made this palette out of it, which I do enjoy, but yeah, I don't know even know how old this is, so I'll get rid of that one. I got this Wild Nothing palette. I was really excited about it when I got it, but I just wasn't that impressed with it. I ended up getting rid of two of the shades already that were the Super Sock shades. They just got kind of gross and didn't need them anymore, so I may save um, a few of the shades, like like this green one, this nude, and then maybe one of these brown ones to make like a small look out of it, but it's nothing that I need, so I will get rid of this one. I have this Urban Decay on the Run Detour Palette. I like this one a lot, and it is one that I use, so I will go ahead and hang on to that. Moving down here, this is a newer palette that I got, Aether Beauty, when they were going out of business, the Crystal palette. Um, I was pretty disappointed in this one. I just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It's a lot more glittery than I thought, but it is still pretty new, so I will hold on to this and see if I can get more use out of it. All right, I have the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette. This one is pretty glittery and pretty colorful. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it for now. I don't love some of the super glittery shades, but it is very pretty and um, pastel colored. So I'll hold on to it for now and kind of see what happens. I also have the Natasha Denona Love Palette. Um, I realized that I wasn't really using it all that much and I found it was mostly because um, the way the colors were arranged it just didn't make sense to me so luckily they have something in the back that you can pop them out and you can make your own color uh, or you can move the colors all around so once I did that I suddenly like this palette a lot more it just makes a lot more sense to me putting things in a color gradient like this so I will go ahead and keep this one I have the new um, 
Anastasia, Anastasia Cosmos palette. I really like this palette. I think this is so pretty. I like these dual chrome colors a lot. I like these kind of light matte colors. I probably wouldn't use those two, but that's all right. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this one. Although, and then these, on the other hand, I've been holding on to these for a while. Uh, my Soft Glam palette. So you can see it's kind of kind of coming apart. Um, this shadow got dropped at, or the palette got dropped at one point. I really like this palette, but it is, I don't even know how old it is. So I will go ahead and get rid of this one. Also have the Norvina palette. This one is also pretty old. Um, I really enjoy this one as well, but I will go ahead and move this one out of my collection. Uh, the Anastasia Sultry palette. Um, I do really like this palette. It is neutral and it's got some really pretty shimmer colors. Um, I think I'll hold on to this one a little bit longer, but it probably doesn't have more than a year left out of it. Then I have the Carly Bible palette by Anastasia. I really like these, like the first half of the palette, I think is really pretty, the duo chromes and stuff like that, those light matte colors. So I will go on and hang on to this one. And then I have the Urban Decay Wild Greens palette. Um, this palette isn't anything special. You know, I, it's okay. Um, I'm gonna hold on to it is because I like some of the peach colors and then um, that prickly color is really pretty. So I'll go on and hold on to this one for a little bit longer. I'm kind of getting into my Naked palettes. I have the Naked Reloaded palette. I really like this one. I will go ahead and keep that one. The Naked Cherry palette is another one of my favorites. Can open it. Oh, there we go. Such a pretty color story. I love those kind of pinky red colors. Definitely gonna keep this one. Making a mess. The Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet palette. Also struggling to open this one. There we go. This one is mostly purple, so obviously you can tell by the name. Uh, I mostly use the first half, um, and I like some of the lighter purples, so I will go and hang on to this one. Ah, palette Avalanche. I also like the Urban, Urban Decay Naked Cyber Palette. I know a lot of people didn't like this one, but these are my type of colors. I really like the light um, shimmer color to put all over the lid. I usually put a matte in the crease and then a light shimmer on the lid. So this one to me really works. So I will go ahead and hang on to this one. I also have the um, Naked um, Wild West palette. This one is, this one's very pretty. It's got some some bronze and some green, so I'm gonna hold on to that one. That one's newer. Grab a little brush with it. And then the last of my naked palettes, the um, naked honey palette. This one I ended up getting when it went on sale. I think that it is um, very pretty, all these kind of gold, bronzy colors. So I will go ahead and keep this one. And my last made palette is the KVD. I think this was like a holiday palette. It was called Edge of Reality. And this one, I really, really love this shade. This shade is definitely my favorite. It's just this like really cool duochrome color. So I'm going to go ahead and hang on to it for that. And then I like these mattes as well. This one I've been putting off for a while. This is a lot of my, these are my singles. They are a mix of ColourPop and Makeup Geek. Unfortunately, Makeup Geek is no longer a brand anymore. And I could not even tell you how old these are. These are at least five plus years, if not more. So I really like this palette. Um, I got a lot of use out of it when I had it, but it is time to go ahead and get rid of these. I'll probably keep this white cream shade because I use that um, as an eyebrow color. And in turn, 
terms of my single shadows. Um, I have this Thrive Cosmetics one. This one's pretty old. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Um, ColourPop shadow, I'll keep that. It is in like a shot. I'll hold on to that one. Um, I have this Ulta Tinted Eye Primer Champagne, but it kind of comes out like a really, it's a light champagne color, so sometimes I'll use that it's just as like a single shadow. Uh, this One of these ColourPop um, Chrome um, ones in Bliss. I think the color is super pretty. These were way smaller than I thought they were going to be. So I don't think I'd get any more of them, but I do think this one's pretty and I'll hold on to it. It's, it's very new. Uh, I also have this e.l.f. liquid shadow um, that's very pretty in this kind of pinky color. Um, little dipper. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this one. I have a Revolution um, sinful, sinful Green. This one is very new to me. Just got this. There's a little more glitter in there than I'd like, but I'll go ahead and hold on to it for now. And then I also have this um, two-sided double act shadow stick from Ico, I believe is the brand. So I'll go ahead and keep this one for now, although it's um, probably doesn't have too much time left. So those were all of my eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna get rid of. Now let me look over here at my face palettes. Um, I have this Becca face palette. What was this called? Blush with light palette. This one is very, very old. Really like this palette. Um, it had Wisteria Songbird and Snapdragon. So, so such a pretty palette, but this is very, very old. So I will go ahead and get rid of this. I have two of these Natasha Denona blush duos. Um, the only, I didn't realize this at the time when I got them, but they both have um, the same highlight color. So it's like tutu and then strawberry cheeks. And then this one is tutu and golden coral. So they are very, very similar. Um, they have the same, they have different blushes, but then they have the same highlight color. I will keep both of them for now, but I tend to like the one without shimmer better. I have this Huda Beauty palette. Um, this was a highlighter palette. I think this was another one that came in Ipsy subscription, so very, very old. There's a cream product in there, and then three highlights. I will go ahead and get rid of this one. I also I have this Ofra Madison Miller palette. I think this was another one. Like I said, came in an Ipsy. Very old. Um, I will go ahead and get rid of this one. I have this Becca and Chloe uh, palette. This one is pretty. I I still use this palette. There's two blushes, a bronzer, a highlight. I'll go ahead and hold on to this one. I also have my Hourglass palette from Holiday a few years ago. Just on my aunt. I don't know which year, but this one is really pretty. Um, I use this one a lot. Uh, setting powder, bronzer, blush, highlight. I will go ahead and keep this one. Bomb and the Bomb of Your Hand palette. Um, this is one that it's pretty, but I don't really use it all that often. Oh shoot, I just stuck my finger in that one. But I really like that color Frat Boy. The the um, I really like the face products out of it, but the eyeshadows I never really got a lot of use out of it. But this is also pretty old. I think this was um, I got it in Ipsy a while ago, so I will go ahead and do this one. And then the very last thing, I have this Morphe 2 stack, um, Pink Please, and it has like an eyeshadow, a blush, a lip balm, and then a highlighter. And so this is pretty. Um, I still use this one, so I will go ahead and keep this one. So let me just look at everything that I got rid of. I just kind of put everything down here. So let's see, we have... One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then all of these singles, and then plus this dot mini shadow. So I say that is pretty good. Moving all these out of my collection, not because I don't like them, but just because they are older, um, and it is time for them to leave. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'll see you later. Bye.